Summer is one of the best times of the year to connect with donors, but often the most overlooked. Watch this video for great tips on how to maximize a summer with donors. Enjoy. In the summer of 1994, I was tasked with scheduling a series of meetings with our executive director and a handful of major donors in West Texas and Eastern New Mexico. The meetings were extremely fruitful as donor after donor not only was willing to meet with us, but also give a significant gift. For one of our last appointments, we commuted from Midland, Texas to Roswell, New Mexico to see a longtime financial partner with our organization. After a successful conversation and commitment to give, we hopped in the rental car and drove the 207 miles back to Midland. If you've ever made that commute, it's dusty and deserted. We were 20 miles from Midland when the gas gauge read E and a big red light went on indicating our fuel level was low. I remember telling my executive director, you know, when the gas gauge light comes on, it still has at least 20 miles left. I believe we can make it to the next gas station. Famous last words. As it would happen, 10 miles later, the car sputtered to a stop and ran out of gas. The look on my director's face is eternally etched in my mind. He immediately said, at least 10 miles, huh? With my tail between my legs, I started walking to the nearest gas station and returned a few hours later with enough gas to get us to the next station. But that was an experience I'll never forget. Thankfully, it didn't ruin a very successful summer trip to visit major donors, but I've never again tried to push further once the gas gauge gets to empty. But that trip also reminds me of how important visiting donors is throughout the year, but especially in the summer. Yes, donors or partners have vacations planned, but for many, summer is much more relaxed and less harried for donors. Here's some things I'd recommend for summer development and fundraising. Tip number one, determine the summer schedule of the critical few. Since your time is limited and valuable in the summer, it's important that you first focus your efforts on the critical few, those 20% of your donors giving 80% of the income of your organization. Then using staff or volunteers or do-it-yourself, find out what dates, days, or weeks in the summer are available to meet with or call individuals to thank them and report back on how their gifts were used. Simply call a personal assistant and ask what dates are good and bad for Mr. and Mrs. Jones, or if Mr. and Mrs. Jones handles their own schedule, ask, I'd love to get some time with you this summer. Are there days or dates that are better than others? Tip number two. Schedule a meeting to report back on giving. Although asking for money should always be a consideration when contacting a partner or a donor, you're going to get more people to accept a meeting and help you develop a deeper relationship by letting people know you'd like to report back on how their money was used specifically. I wouldn't say I'm not going to be asking you for anything, but you could. You don't want to shut the door to an opportunity that might arise, but don't start or lead with that. I like to use the excuse that I've got photos, videos, or stories, and I found that it's best if I can share those with you in person. And be sure to have photos, stories, or videos with you when meeting with them. For some organizations, it isn't as easy to track exactly how a gift was used, but if you can give the person or person's generality, such as your gift was used to change a life like this person, that works well. Meetings can be local, within a day's drive, or across the country, or even around the world. Getting time with a donor is invaluable and should be done as often as possible. Traveling to see donors may be expensive, so you'll want to count the cost. Spending $500 to see someone who gives $100,000 may be well worth the investment. I've found ways to cut costs to travel by combining it with other trips or have even been part of a house swap with another nonprofit leader as a way to get time to visit donors in a particular part of the country. Of course, living in Florida makes it easier to find people to swap houses with than some other locations. If donors are just unable or reluctant to meet, talk to them on the phone or schedule a call with an assistant. The contact will definitely pay off. Tip number three, schedule an open house or other gathering. For many nonprofits, summer is finally a time to schedule that open house at your headquarters or new building that you've been always planning to do. And with summer being a more relaxed time, you can even hold this midweek on a lunch break or during breakfast. But you can also include an open house barbecue at the home of a leader or board member. 
This can be a Saturday barbecue and can be held during a window in time, say from noon to 4 or 4 to 8 p.m. Guests can come and go at their leisure, grab a bite to eat, but also get to know some key organizational leaders or board members. The time can just involve mingling, but there can be a time that a key leader stops discussion and shares a thank you and quite possibly a few concise change life stories from the field. Tip number four, schedule a vision trip or vision casting time. Summer is an amazing time to hold a vision trip for donors using an already existing program or project. Our organization has summer projects that students are involved in. Inviting donors to observe what goes on during those projects, or even better, participates in those projects, is a great way to immerse your donors in what you're doing. Better informed donors, those who truly understand and embrace your mission, vision, values, are essential to good development and fundraising. A vision trip allows a donor to not only view your efforts in action, but also allows them to experience them in action. And it's a proven fact that donors who experience your efforts are more committed and more invested with their life, labor, influence, finances, and expertise. Vision trips can be stateside or international, but they can also be local. There are logistical issues that need to be considered if you're asking a donor to travel. And trips to remote or unique locations are attractive, but don't feel that you can't have a vision trip if you're a local organization. Finding ways for people to experience your efforts with you is really what's important to them. Vision casting events can include small gatherings in your headquarters or a regional office, but it can also happen in a private room in a restaurant. The program doesn't have to be sophisticated or planned months in advance. I've had some very simple events with a handful of large donors and a state of the organization address and one or more changed life stories. And a video, 60 to 90 minutes in length, can be the entire time for that vision casting event. Tip number five, vacation with donors. In rare situations, a nonprofit leader may have a deep enough relationship with a donor or partner that they are also able to vacation with the donor. This could include anywhere from a one-day outing to a week-long trip. We've had opportunities where donors have offered to pay for our expenses on a trip, and there are times where we've paid separately. But each of those times have been rich and meaningful. When given the opportunity to vacation with a donor, it's highly recommended and desirable. Summer is not the, the difficult time to do things with donors that people make it out to be. And in fact, as I've mentioned, it might be just the time to meet with donors. Getting uninterrupted time with donors or partners is invaluable. And when that's extended time, it's even better. Look for every opportunity to find that time. Whether it be in the summer or in the winter, seek opportunities to go deeper with your partners and they will become more committed to you and to your cause. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button and add a comment below listing which concepts or tips you like best or wanted to try this summer. If I missed anything that you've done before, Share that with me in the comments below so it can help our entire community get better. An interesting statistic came to light the other day. More than 70% of those who watch this channel regularly have never subscribed. A radio personality once said, if you partake in the food from the refrigerator, help restock the refrigerator. In our case, that's subscribing to this channel. There's no cost to you, but the more subscribers we have, the more this message gets out to all others and the more we can all share in the wealth derived from our collective experiences. Simply hit the big red button and click the all bell and be notified when the next video is released. For some, you may have to sign into your Gmail account to get there, so please take the added step to do so. If you want to find out what to do and say during a meeting with a donor, watch this video and raise more money than ever and better our world. I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.